South African, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Jeannie D and this is Afternoon Express, joined by my very fabulous friends in the kitchen for our gorgeous Tuesday cook-along. Clem, welcome. And of course, Sue Ellen, welcome. Yay. Wow, so it's time for another edition of the Afternoon Express cook-along. And today, things are heating up in the kitchen like you've never. Joining us, along with our very own Clem, is of course, private chef Sue, uh, Sue Ann Ellen, uh, as we said. And of course, we are not only making a traditional spicy chuck a lack of a thick cook but to double up on the heat we are serving it with extra spicy fried chicken i mean yeah this sounds delicious <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm salivating already how are we doing this and what's making it unique with the chicken it, i'm going to get to our chaka uh, later yeah. because i know it's your special <laughs> mix so the chicken we're going to be using chicken thighs we know it's yeah. super juicy super tender and then we're going to come at it with a whole lot of spice some secrets in our egg wash, you're gonna find out about that. All right. It's gonna be like, honestly, the craziest, crunchiest, spiciest chicken you've ever, oh, ever, ever had. Perfect for this weather. Yeah. And I love how you prepare the spices like that all together. It just looks so gloriously neat. Okay, now the chakalaka. Mm. Chakalaka is mwah. It is mwah. <laughs> and now your one is quite a special combination. Do you have any special ingredients that so you So it's make? actually quite a simple one, but it's the mixing of the curry powder, the chili, and then a little secret in roasting off your garlic, which just okay. adds the perfect undertone of sweetness. So one little change can make the world of difference. Okay, because exactly. I know Clem loves using roasted garlic, yep. but we've actually haven't roasted it before, I think, so you can show us how. I'll explain how to do that in just a bit. Yo, chakalaka is mwah, 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 mwah. I can't say it. <laughs> to get today's recipe and shopping list sent directly to your phone, simply SMS the keyword CLOVER to 33650. SMSs are one round 50 each and no free SMSs apply. Plus, our lines are open on the 021-4309881 if you have any culinary questions or if, if you get stuck along the way. Now, the show is streaming live on YouTube right now, so keep your device with you in the kitchen and follow along, and we'll be finishing this meal off with something so remarkably decadent that we actually had a pre one earlier mm -hmm. and everybody in the studio yeah. has gone absolutely yeah, nuts because it is salty it is sweet it is chocolatey it's basically everything that you could possibly want for in your life it is amazing tell me about this okay. dessert so basically to our viewers at home if you notice your screen starts <laughs> shaking it's not your TV, don't adjust your no. set. It's actually our camera crew, because they've been eating this, and they are like high <laughs> on these bars. It's a salted caramel cookie bar, and it's made out of the best things in life. Condensed milk, chocolate, butter, chocolate, 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 yeah. butter, condensed milk, milk, chocolate. You have to try this. It's crazy. Essentially, I had a little square of it, and as I lifted it, a little piece of chocolate butter basically landed on my face. I mean, it's, it's, it's so much. <laughs> It is so much goodness, you are going to want this. And of course, if you would like the recipe for this delicious baked treat, simply SMS the keyword TREAT to 33650. And those SMSs are charged at one round fifty each, and no free SMSs apply. And then, da dun da dun where's our drum roll? Can we all... Okay, <laughs> because our special guest today is a bit of a clean freak. That's an understatement. She says that she can't even start cooking at home if there is as much as a dirty teaspoon in the sink or else she loses her appetite. I wish I could lose my appetite that quickly. <laughs> Actress and dancer Tema Sebaperi has played the lovable and ambitious Lerato Tsotsetsi for the past eight years, a character that has won the hearts of Visidingo fans around the country. And she is here. This is my family home. Exactly. Home. It's your parents' house, the Chaba. Yeah, oh, no, but, but don't you think we need a nice place of our own? Lerato, I'm happy here. Okay, besides, man, there's like a lot of memories. Come on. And we can make our own memories. Ah, uh ah, -uh, nah. I'm not getting a new place. Wow. wow. So we're not moving up in this world. We're being stuck in the past. Yeah, what about your salon? Yeah? So alone I received in the past. Come on, you're being unreasonable here. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm We're happy so to be happy here. to have you here because, of course, we had your TV husband here a few weeks ago. Okay. And he's amazing. He did such a great job. So we started off with this little clip, and I think one of the reasons why is because she's just so ambitious. Right. And she works so hard, and I think that's so similar to your initial story of how you, like, started in acting and your struggle time leading up to when you got that role. What was it like? Oh, Louise, it was horrible. You know, I don't like to lose, yeah. so I don't give up easily. Yeah. Okay, and what was it like? Look, 
the, the, that one audition that was quite significant was the one I had at Clive Morris Productions. Yeah. And I came from, I can't recall where I lived at the time, but I, I took a taxi to Randburg and um, I had to walk on Bromfisher. It was the middle of summer. It was hot. Yeah. Okay, I'd had my braids, those braids, yeah. for more than three months. So they, they were, were literally the sagging inch. and pulling. It was painful. It was painful to have them. And, and oh this, this top was a hand down from somewhere in the family. And look how stretched my bra straps no, were. Like baby. literally it was like the end of the end, okay? Yeah. And that day I was like, you know what, the heat. I was like, I'm gonna get their sweaty, but they're not gonna see the sweat. I can yeah. smell myself, but they're not gonna smell me. So I'm just gonna go there and give it my yeah. all. Literally put on that smile when I walked into the room and it was a boardroom full of, full of people for the audition yeah. and just their energy made me feel so comfortable and so relaxed I forgot about all the sweat and all oh, that I that was going hug on you when you speak of that literally of audition, like. and look every audition you walk out of there as if it's your last performance because yeah. you just really never know you know my agent tells me that it's every audition should be like your first day on set yes and when I that's think about that I'm like that's actually true and that's actually how I felt and how I I, I presented myself on that day yeah. And Struz to Bob, that was the audition that I banged. And you got it. Yes. Eight years ago. How did your life change? My life changed. <laughs> yeah. I Look, <laughs> I used to live on a dance floor, literally partied from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay? Yeah. And when I, when I landed Isidingo in 2010, yeah. I knew that those days would be over because I was like, you know what? When people start to recognize and catch up yeah. that I'm on TV, I'm going to be on a different level of scrutiny. Yes. So 2010, I partied like a rock star, <laughs> literally. 2010, 2011, I literally was like, okay, until people start going, aren't you that girl, aren't you that girl, aren't you that girl, I'm going to milk the last days yeah. of, of partying and being on and the dance And how's that happened? I mean, have you had to stop being yourself because of, you know, of your level of anonymity? I, I think so. I think so. The people close to me can tell that, Dude, when we're in Durban, you, you're really wild. You party hard. When we're in Joburg, you're very, like, yeah. reserved. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> but in Joburg, people know, a lot more people know me and recognize me easier. It's difficult to be myself. I don't like to be, I don't like to be judged. No one yeah. does. No, but, of course. But, you know, but, you know I, I won't dance as hard <laughs> when I know. Listen, it hasn't when stopped I, when me. When I know that. No, it hasn't stopped me either. I think you I should keep it. on going, girl. Just not as often. So, no, I mean, there's obviously a side to you that people know that they see on television. And then there's a lot about you that people don't know. A lot. And there's quite some interesting stuff yes. <laughs> that, that I would like to clear. Yeah. So you've got a hobby, which is knitting, and you can knit for hours, I Yeah, heard. I literally, I can knit for hours. It makes, you know, in our industry, we, we spend a lot of time waiting, yeah, yeah. right? And it's those waiting times that I sit and I knit and I knit. And in that time, yeah. My mind just works. I think I, I get inspired in those moments. Yeah. I get new ideas in those moments. I deal with issues in those moments. Yeah. Because I can literally it's just... It's cathartic. You yeah, process things yeah, I can, I can yeah. you know, put a flat face. It nice. doesn't, I don't have to feel anything when I knit. I just do it. And, and do you knit anything in particular? Do you knit jerseys? Do you no, knit? no, just a long streak of whatever. I just finished the yarn. Currently, You've I've got You've got to donate block. them and then make blankets That's to donate to the That's what we used to, to do in high school. Yeah. That's what we used to do. But, you know, in school, they have a specific dimension. Yeah. So currently I just knit and then and then because I've got leather couches, currently I'm putting the, the, the knitting on the leather couch so I can sit on it and it doesn't feel cold. Very nice. Okay, well we got you a little gift. <laughs> there's also another there's also another little thing about you that, that people don't know. What is your thing with hair? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me see. Okay, I don't have this size, so thank oh, you so okay, much. Good. <laughs> pleasure, pleasure. I don't know what this thing with hair is. Yeah. But the thing with hair is that I love hair on my head. I like lots of hair on my head. Yeah. But the minute there is a hair on a stray hair or on your pants or on the floor. Jesus, this jacket must be killing you. Uh, no, no, the, <laughs> the jacket is fine because I know it's, it's, it's clothing. Okay, okay. It's, it's, not liter hair. it's literally hair. If, if somebody brushes their hair at the basin and there's hair there, I freak out. If there's a hairbrush and there's... My hairbrush is over there. You can go look. Spotless. Spotless. Okay, well, open your gift. I can't. And then there's also another thing, that you speak French fluently. Not fluently. Not fluently. You got me But there. you can speak enough. But a little bit. I yeah. can communicate with a French boyfriend. <laughs> if I had to have one. If I had to have one. <laughs> well, go ahead and open your gift while we play. Oh, guys, thank you. Ooh. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs>
What am I gonna do with one? You can, can you make it three bundles? I Who thought you were this? gonna be freaked out. Bundles. By this it. is yeah, no, but I can bundles, please, anybody. Who? Thank you so much. So is it true that Thank you actually you. you even brush your hair outside? Like yeah. there's no hair inside your hair. I don't house. care how cold or hot Shame, it is. We've got a dog. Thank God we didn't bring him today because otherwise you would have completely freaked out. The the couch. Yeah. I forgot there were dogs here, and I literally I sat and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I got up and I brushed myself off. I don't know if your receptionist saw me, but I literally just was like, oh, God, do I have hair that I cannot oh, see? Cute, so it's just a thing of stray hair. It's not that I yeah. don't like hair. It's just if it's lying, if it's where it's not supposed to be, I have a problem with it. Yeah. And I literally, I, I pick it up at my house. I can see, I spot them. I can see, pick up, bin. Even if it's one at a time every five yeah. minutes. Oh, my word. No lazy about now, it. Now, another thing about you is that you're, you're a proper romantic. Oh, yeah. So have you found that French boyfriend yet? Are you, no. Are you involved? No, I'm not. Um, I, be I'm, I seriously believe in love. Like, I love to love. Yeah. You know, and, and I think that's why I like being in relationships, which is probably the wrong reason to be in one. <laughs> but I seriously love to love. And I believe in love. So one day I will find my true love yeah. as well. And of course, you've learned French, so maybe maybe he's going to be French as well. Hopefully, Canadian would be great. How did you learn English to speak and French, French, by the way? High school. It was oh, my really? third language. Yeah. Yeah, third language all throughout, throughout from form one to form five. Yeah. Now let's take it back to, of course, your role. And they said that your favorite scene that you've ever done was the proposal. Yeah. Tell me. Tell you me know what? That. To be honest, that was the one time. I, I caught myself not being in character and in the scene. It wasn't this scene, though. The second proposal where, where he, he, he serenaded Lerato, yeah. I literally caught myself not being oh, in the moment. How magnificent do to, you look there, though? Oh, thank you. I mean, what a beautiful wedding. That dress, that dress fit like a glove. Oh, did you oh, get to keep it? No, no, but it was so comfortable, that dress. I, I loved that dress. And he's amazing. So he must be such a nice TV husband because he's just such a nice guy. Yeah, it's fun to play along and joke and, you know, yes. like come up with stuff on the spot. Yeah, that's yeah. so important though, don't you think? Yeah, So it that is your work environment play. is like, so that you can play. Absolutely. Are you friends off camera? No. Really? No. Why? I don't know. I'm devastated. I don't know. I guess we just really work well together. Okay. Amazing energies, yeah. Yeah, that's a really good energy. Yeah. And what is your work schedule like? Like, how hard are the hours? Because obviously, I mean, we've heard it's grueling. Mm. I mean, it depends on your story. If you are in, but you know what? Lerato's always in the story. That's the thing. Exactly. So, so work is 6.15 till 5, 5.30. Okay. And it starts off with breakfast. I, I don't have, I have breakfast at home already before I leave because yeah. I literally get hungry within 30 minutes of being awake. So I eat from home. Yeah. And at 6.15, I'm in the parking lot, but I wait and okay. I, I do my quiet time meditation. Sure. I pray and, and, you know, get in the game yeah. mode. Game, game and when you're not on set, you really are making time for other things that are very important. Of course, like breast cancer is very close to your heart mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, cancer in general. Yeah. My father passed away of lung cancer in <clears throat> 2000 and it was a difficult time. I'm sure. Actually in 2001, that's what I found out in 2000 and I was going from, um, from four prelim exams into matric. Jeannie, I don't know how I passed my matric. For I don't know how I you passed your matric. I, I, to admit, I did not and were you I very didn't close? study. Yeah, we were close. I didn't study for matric. I studied for speech and drama because that's what I loved. And I couldn't, it was the only thing that kept me alive. Being oh. in, the, in, the, in the school production, in the high school production called Godspell, God, Godspell, and I played Jesus Christ. <laughs> and that is exactly how I got through matric. Being on stage through mm. matric got me through high school. I yeah. don't know how I passed. I did not study. I could not concentrate. All I could think about was my dad the whole time. And I mean, can you remember that time or was it like all just a traumatic blur for you? I remember. Absolutely. Being in, being in boarding school, because I'm originally from Rustenburg, and I schooled in Bedford View. So I yeah. was away from home that entire time, you know. So yeah. that was the difficult part, is that we'd have prep time. And as matrix, you have privilege. So you have your own rooms or you, you in cubicles. Yeah. I'd, I'd stay up. I'd study, study, 
while everyone is studying. But one light goes off, the, all the lights go off in the cubicles and once everyone, I start hearing snoring, then I cry my eyes out. Yeah. And by the end of oh. however many hours of crying, I've done no homework, of no course. studying. But thank goodness, the teachers were very understanding and supportive. So I got a lot of, I got away with a lot of things, but I, ca I can't tell you that I remember what I learned. Yeah. No. Well, let me tell you from one East Rand girl to another, I mean, your father must be so proud of you. If he can look down on you now, yeah. he will be so, so proud Thank of the woman you so that you've much. become. So happy to have you here. Thank you. We're going to have quite a bit of fun in the kitchen. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to having you there, and hopefully you can cook, um, even though you're going to be washing your hands every five minutes, I believe. Yes. <laughs> so yes. I hope our kitchen is clean enough for Tema, because we will be putting her through her paces after the break in our cook-along. Now, make sure you head over to our social media platforms and add your comment to our question for the day. If Tema was having a cook-along at your home, which <laughs> other Isidingo character would you invite? Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the official hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. Pride brings a touch of pride and the natural beauty of olive oil tea on table. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express where our, our guest... Oh, OCD seems to be the order of the day. <laughs> I must have said there was no water in Cape Town. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure after you're done with it, there won't be any water left in Cape Town. Come back, kids. Get back in the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, I love you. Now, we are keeping it local in today's cook-along segment with a hearty, tasty dish that simply bursts with flavour. We are making fekbuk with chakalaka, by the way. And I hear this was at your request because mm. it's your favourite. Mm. You don't look like you eat much fed cooked. I don't. It's my cheat meal. <laughs> and of course, we are adding some extra spicy fried chicken to make this recipe. We are using Olive Pride, a blend of seed oils and extra virgin olive oil, which is so versatile to use in any dish and adds to the 
depths of flavors with its almond aroma. Simply SMS the keyword clover to get this recipe sent to you. Clem, we're loving these local dishes. Right. Yesterday I made, what was it called again? Mokhodu. Mokhodu. Yeah. Hey, Mokhodu. did you eat it? No. <laughs> it was so good. It was no, no, no. Can I tell you why I didn't eat any mokhodu? Because Bonnie was basically the person I made it for, oh and way. it's her favorite thing in the world. So, made it for mokhodu. Okay, the next time you come, I'll make it for you. Yes. I make a mean mokhodu. Good. I don't believe know how that, to you'll believe anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, let's get cracking. So, Sue, why don't you talk us through how you're going to start off your chakalaka salon? So, chakalaka, a little bit of olive pride into your pan on a medium heat. We're going to saute our onions. To this, we are going to add our chili, our roasted garlic, which we spoke about earlier. Oh, so yeah. the, the lovely thing about garlic, and sometimes, I mean, we all love garlic, but it can be quite pungent and acidic. Yeah. So if you pop whole cloves, skin on and all, oven tray at about 100 degrees for an hour, hour and a half, it all just starts to become mushy inside. Oh. You can literally squeeze out those cloves. Mm -hmm. You'll get a beautiful mm -hmm. paste. Yeah. So even when you're roasting chicken and veggies, just chuck the whole, you don't even have to go through that mission of chopping. Ooh. In whole, it'll get soft, squeeze. It's amazing. So delicious. It's, it's thanks amazing. For, thanks for telling me that. <clears throat> so right. Have you ever had a garlic, like when it's on a braai? Like if somebody just throws the whole oh. piece thing of garlic on a braai, Oh my goodness, really? so delicious. And it doesn't make you smell, apparently, no, if you eat it that it's, way. It just really? releases all of those, the bits that Ooh. some people don't like. Well, yeah. not all of us. I like all of it. I love the skin on anything. I like I'll eat it anyway. <laughs> but especially because you're such a romantic. You can't kiss after you've eaten a lot of <laughs> Unless garlic. Unless we both So eat now, it. if you have roasted garlic, then you can go and snog anyone you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so. Right. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so while he's chopping the onions, let me start on the dredge for our chicken. Yeah. So in you have added some lime juice and some rice wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add some honey. This is just another way to build on flavor. So essentially, the, the egg is going to kind of be our glue that holds our bread oh. crab together. Oh, you so, Tema, can that I get... this kitchen to glue. Love it. Him. He is. He is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, Tema, that's all you. And it's not our first time cooking together. No, it's not. No, it's not. And our first dish we ever cooked together, look at our sunny romantic, was actually chicken. Chicken. It was chicken. So I thought I'd kind of bring it back the memories a bit. So it's the chicken that we first cooked with your picnic that you requested. Thank you, guys. You come go way back now, eh? It's been like... No, we do go way back, and I will never forget that day you told us that um, this, what is this, a bread, not a bread. The thigh, the thigh. The thigh cooks a lot easier. Yeah, not, more since, juicier. Yeah, juicier, and since then I've been lazy on my chicken thigh, uh, chicken <laughs> breast. <laughs> no, Are I you agree, a good yeah. Cook? yeah. I am. How do I you manage to do all of the cutting and chopping with those nails? In, the um, in, in fact, that's my favorite chore, chopping onions. I love it. Really? I love the smell of onions on my hands. But I do it, hey? I do it really slowly. Okay. And I don't hold the knife the chef's way, the professional way How to do it. How do you it. hold a knife? Can I see? Grab it. The way you're not supposed to. <laughs> Which like, is like that? Like, like this, but then I, I hold, I hold, I, I slice like this. Whoa! Oh, oh, sorry, oh, I know, oh, so I could tell myself, but danger, I'm danger. not going to spoil these. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's remove, let's remove the that. danger. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about what we've got going under the flour mix now. <laughs> So, as Jeannie mentioned earlier, we've got all the spices nicely lined up. Let me just hold it up real quick. So, we've got some garlic powder, some cayenne pepper, some chili. We weren't joking about the spice today. Yeah. We've got some paprika and then we've got some pepper. And I need quite a bit of salt because flour is going to kind of like take all those flavors down a bit. But you need the, you need the flour. You need Did that. you say turmeric? Um, no, you know what? We could actually add it, but no. Let's that was turmeric. paprika. We love turmeric. Do you love turmeric? I love it. It's the wonder spice at the moment. Really? I use it with everything. I literally I put it. turmeric in everything. In fact, first thing in the morning, I have boiling water with lemon squeezed into it, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and a teaspoon of turmeric. Yum. That's why I look like this, and I'm nearly 100. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with you, girl. <laughs> All right, cool. So, Sue, how's your, how's your chakalaka coming out? So I can smell something else when in the pan. So, this is, so let your onions cook off for a bit first, then the chili and the garlic, because yeah. we don't want that to burn. So, yeah. you can get a little bit of color on your onion, but just wait. Turn down the heat if it's too high before those aromatics go in. And then you saw I just popped in a little bit of water. If you're finding that your pan is at any stage too hot, a touch of water would just cool it down immediately if you need a quick result. So just a little bit of a tip if you are worried that it's cooking too quickly. So now that that's gone in, I'm going to add our chopped tomatoes. Tomatoes. Could you throw the onion one in as well? If tomatoes you would, and onions chopped with more onion. Look, I, I, if you, if you did buy a ready mix, you could do that. Then what I'd do is oil in first, okay. add your 
Again, add your chili, your garlic, and your curry okay. powder. Get that base spice, and then in goes the whole can. Okay. So you absolutely could. You know why I love onion? And I'm always, I feel like I'm, I'm a wealth of useless information. <laughs> but basically, onion is so healthy because it cleans your blood. Jeannie, you oh. literally should have like a little encyclopedia. I know. Every time I'm here, there are these facts. Yeah. Jeannie just comes up with that. And Jeannie doesn't Google it. Eh? He doesn't Google Jeannie. it. This is straight out of the book of Jeannie. Oh, wow. It's of Jeannie is. <laughs> yes. Yay. Yay. Oh, you guys make me feel so oh. good. <laughs> okay, now what have you just thrown in so there? So now I've my curry powder. No, that's, curry, so that's powder. curry powder. And I'm going to let that just simmer through for a couple of minutes and then mm -hmm. we'll move on to the next step. So Amazing. now you've just got that burst of. Mm. This is already now starting you can to smell, smell what you're so going to taste. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm happy. Yo, Me too. Chakalaka Ooh. is mwah. Yeah. <laughs> so to get today's recipe and shopping list sent directly to your phones, simply SMS the keyword CLOVER to 33650. SMSs are one round 50 each and no free SMSs apply. Oh my, this is going to be the most fried fried chicken it I've is. ever seen. Let me tell you what I did. So I dipped the chicken into the spicy flour first. Okay. Then I dipped it into the egg. That's gonna, like I said, it's like the glue. Mm -hmm. Then into these panko breadcrumbs. If you don't have panko, use any other breadcrumb. Or, to be honest with you, flour, egg, flour, oil, and you'll yeah. be fine. Oh, you'll totally fine. And also, if you want to be a little more budget conscious, you can go for chicken breasts. Yeah. We spoke about we mm. spoke about that. But I mean, I like the thigh. It makes it a little cutlet, you know, it's nice juicy. Yeah. The thigh is juicier, the breast is a little drier. Yeah. It's about that dark meat. We spoke about this. Yeah. Dark meat is better. But the, but, but, but the thigh has more protein. The th <laughs> yes, you know, look at <laughs> Protein. We need the protein. There we go, there we go. Know, that's true. Yeah. See, and you are very healthy because yeah. you definitely, you stay in shape, you eat your yeah, protein. Yeah, I dance, I group train, fitness training, so I have to be fitter than the class I'm teaching. No, of oh, course. Oh. Yeah. You actually used to be like a fitness trainer in I the still gym. Am. Do you still? Yes. <gasps> no, I wish I would go to one of your classes. You should. When you visit Joburg, you should. Okay, a little bit later, will you give me some tips on what to do? Yes. To get the thighs in uh -huh. and the up. That's that's Ouch. that's what I need. All right. <laughs> do we even have cooking left to do? Or can yeah. We're still going. We're still going. But it's true, you are very physical. I remember when we did a, a couple of good food and wine shows together. Before you went on stage, you would like squat, push up. What? And it's like that's something that you also do, Jeannie, you know? Show the the push ups? No, I do 20 squats before we start the show no. and 20 push ups before we start the show because I feel like your endorphins. But you're in a good mood. But then it gives you a, it gives you a slight pump as oh. well. That's why you probably look better. <laughs> I was, I was going to show you my pumped up arms, but I mean, I'll show you later. <laughs> They're good. Okay, so let's summarize quickly what we've done. We've gone spicy chicken into the egg, into the panko, into, into the, the oil. oil. Looking golden. This guy's yeah. coming out almost like two more minutes. And we've got the chakalaka looking amazing. It mm. looks so legit. It does. That's, that's, that's it. I'm done. I'm done with my chakalaka. <laughs> is that's it, how, is, is that's chakalaka not done? Before. So your tomato paste, your beans would go in. That's season, it. always season, and then a touch of sugar. Again, yep. you want to balance out the heat. I always say add a little bit of sugar. So hopefully that is tasting perfect. It's still going to, I'm going to let that heat cook for a little bit yeah. low, but you can see it's still steaming. We just, now it's just a marriage of flavors. It can sit and do its own thing. I yes. always tend to cook, well, when I cook, make <laughs> things as quick as possible. Mm. What are the benefits of cooking something slower for longer? If you cook something slower for longer, you get an intensification is that is that a real word that's a good word of yeah. flavors so if you leave this on longer your tomato flavor is going to intensify your oh. curry is going to intensify that sweet garlic so leave it on low and leave it on slow it's always just going to be a better depth of flavor yeah. that's pretty much it so oh. if you've got the time do it i wish everybody had a stew in their kitchen because <laughs> you are absolutely amazing Thank you so much. This is all great. And when Good. we come back from the break, we've got even more yumminess going on in this kitchen. We'll be right back.
side brings a touch of pride and the natural beauty of olive oil tea on table. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. And of course, we've got a kitchen full of fun today for our Tuesday cook-along with our sensational guests. Now, today, to get today's recipe and shopping list sent directly to your phones, simply SMS the keyword CLOVER to 33650. SMS is a one round 50 each and no free SMSs apply. Plus, our lines are open on 21 if you've got any culinary questions or if you'd like to chat to any of our stars in studio today. Day, you're more than welcome to give us a call. Okay, so we've made our fried chicken, we've made our mm -hmm. mm -hmm. chakalaka, mm -hmm. and now maguinha. Maguinha, mm -hmm. your favorite. Mm -hmm. How often do you have a cheat day? Mm -mm. No. Oh, once a week. You have a cheat day once a, cheat a week? Day. Cheat meal, not cheat day. One meal. Oh, oh. Out of so disciplined. Day. See, this is where I've been going no. One meal. Yeah. <laughs> One meal. Not like a whole weekend, no. Oh. Okay, so you can't cheat the whole of Sunday. Sundays you, are usually yeah, exactly. cheat days. Can't be the whole of Sunday. No. When you say meal, is it one dish or can it be starters, mains and desserts that you can it cheat It can on? be the whole starter, oh, really? main and dessert. Okay, but it's got to be either breakfast or either lunch or either, oh, wow. or either dinner, not all three or two. Okay. Well, now we know what's wrong. We'll see, we'll see <laughs> now we know where it all went wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, and this with the Fed cook will be Maguinia is your, is your choice. What's t making today's one so good? Well, we're stuffing it with that fried chicken and the chakalaka. Oh. I mean, you, today's yeah. your cheat meal, right? We Okay, cool. Is it's this going to be your cheat meal for the week? Guys, I'm so excited. Like, let's get on with it already. Yes. Like, yes. All right. So, can we get some of the dough yeah, this I side? Um, there's like a kind of global trend right now with chicken sandwiches. And it's like plain I'm chicken, hand it to southern you. fried on like some... white bread. Uh, here's and... a trick, actually. I'm like, here we go. A little bit of oil. Ah, there you go. There I got go. it. You said a flour. So, we kind of going with this global trend, but... and we're going to do our own little take on a chicken sandwich. Okay. And I mean, uh, it's fried chicken. I'm seeing why she has to wash her hands every five seconds. Yeah. Because she really does get stuck in. I do. And those nails. I'm enjoying it's it. Like, I, just I don't know how she it's does. Like... It's not even going near the nails. It's no. amazing. Yeah, no, I, I, I flavor my chicken with my hands. I massage the chicken, make okay. it so soft. <laughs> Literally, chicken breasts, you massage them. They, they are a lot more pleasant. Yeah. yeah. Did you see Nicole Kidman at the Oscars when she clapped? Everybody was criticizing her because her nails were so like that she was clapping like that. <laughs> I get it. And now. I'm totally, and I see it. Okay, tell me what's this technique I'm seeing? Um, I used to watch my grandma do it. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, and, and <laughs> she, she really just like put love in it. I like so this. I'm just, I'm just doing, I'm I, I know monkey me. see, monkey do. No, I like that. I normally do like a method in our viewers say my Maguina looked like they went to private school. But I'm seeing oh, really? that. <laughs> Where do I put this? Now, actually, we just test the oil. Look, I'm going to take yeah. a bit of this crumb off here. Just drop it in there. I hmm. would say, I would say, yeah. Yeah. let's yeah. do it, let's okay. do it. So carefully, we're going to put it in. Wait, Ooh, you got that, you got that. You are good at this. You are. So you don't want do to... You always I make your own no, for your no, 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 no. I buy, no, I actually don't make Maguina at all. Firstly, I cannot smell, stand the smell of oil. In the house, okay, okay, like yeah, fine, fry it, smells good, open up. But I go, then I feel bad if if I've eaten it and I can still smell what I ate. So I don't actually make maguena myself. But when I do make, uh, what is it? Hey, Dombolo. Dombolo. Okay. I buy the dough, ready, right. ready made, and I'm I just bo I just one. boil yeah. it. I don't fry it. Yeah. I like little sizes. Oh, smaller one. No, you go for give her any size you any want. Any size works. That, chicken, size. that chicken needs a bite size. That Ooh. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the only chicken we have. We got some more chicken. Okay. All right. My trick is always once you get the once you get the dough into the oil, you kind of want it to puff up a little bit. Yep. So pack a lid on. But we're not gonna do that now because I'm gonna get all these guys sizzling away nicely. It's looking so good. So you know what? I'm, I, you said you buy the dough. Yes. I'm not mad at that at all. It's kind of like the first introductory step to baking also. Exactly. Why don't you introduce that flavor into your house? Go and buy the dough. Genie, great. And you, you get your Bretons, you spray and cook it, you get it all nice, and you bake it. And people walk in, you'll be like, you just No, guys, hours? I'm the one now that, that doesn't know how to cook, and I make it from the beginning. Oh, you do? You really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Seriously. Look at all of us, Genie. Oh, okay. <laughs> do I really? When I say I do really, I mean, I've done it once in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's tonight, go out and go buy the dough, get started. And they, they work every time. It works every time. Look how nicely they're swelling. They okay, are. so if you don't buy your own dough. I don't know how to make the mix. What is what is the best way to get the best mix? Yeah. Because I feel like we want it really crispy on the outside mm -hmm. and, and yeah, it's got to have that chewy yeah. center. Yeah. It's so, got to have that... Mm. And it's very simple ingredient. It's your, it's your sugar, salt, yeast, water. 
Okay, yeah. you bring that all together, a little bit of olive pride goes in there, makes it a little tender. If you want to be really fancy, add a bit of milk. Milk tenderizes the Why proteins milk? in the flour, it makes it super stretchy, oh. super chewy. Take out the milk. I see you. Every oh, I'm lactose intolerant. You're How lactose so intolerant. Only one thought okay. in my head. I'm like, ooh, bedtime. You, yeah. take, you take out that milk. <laughs> That's an extra. You don't need that. Okay. And then it's, it's all about the kneading, like your grand used to do. The love, the massage in there, and time. They take time. us time to rise. And yeah. then, you know, everything that takes time to make is going to taste good. Yeah. Like get your oil right, and then you're done. Okay. Um, this would have been one of those perfect, if you weren't lactose intolerant, mm. this could have been one of your perfect Nkomas recipes. Yeah, oh my goodness, Jeannie, you're yeah, on a roll I today, yeah. I just thought about it, as you said. Okay, so now, I mean... All right, let's take a look, let's see. So it's sitting away nicely. What is happening here? It should be nice oh, and brown, yeah. yes, look at yes. it. Oh, and you know what, also, you look at that ring. Once you see that ring happening, okay, let me see if I can show you now. Yeah, you can have the dark ring, and then you see like a medium color, yeah. medium color ring, and then the white ring. That's when you know it's good to flip. Wow. Exactly. That is so clever. And also, when your McGuinness got out there, that white little line in the middle. Yeah. That's the clear yeah. line, it's there. Oh, guys, this is Ooh, one of those wow. so See, because they made with yeah. love. They're in those hands. <laughs> I had a little panic thinking, oh, is anything going on here? And now look how amazing that. Oh, oh no, you want that one to and, and you can, I mean, I wish you can, like, see crust. That's crust. That's yeah. flavor, and you want that. Uh, confession, I like a stale maguinha. I like it when it's cold and it's chewy on the outside. Really? Oh, it's oh. one of my weird, like, shipping. Yeah, 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 the two of you have got, like, <laughs> very weird little crusts. <laughs> and I'm on you with a hair thing as well. Yeah. Are you on it? Yeah, Megan, oh, my girlfriend knows as well. She's like, hair has got to be like... Yeah, right no, hair out. It's just... Don't know. And we are friends like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I get this oil off my hands? <laughs> you can go wash your hands. Oh, and thank you. That looks amazing. I mean, I keep on good. smelling it. This is going to be one really, really delicious meal tonight. It smells so good. And this recipe is really easy to rustle up for your family dinner and is really great for entertaining. So to get this recipe sent directly to your phone, all you need to do is SMS the keyword Clover to double three six five zero. And if you need a little reminding of how to make it, here is a quick recap of the easy steps. Made with love by Clover.
and welcome back to Afternoon Express. I was still chewing because <laughs> we are literally going to be making the most delicious thing I've ever tasted in my life. There are treats you make on rare special occasions and then there are treats that are just so comforting that they end up being family favorites. And today we are making irresistible, gooey, salted caramel cookie bars that I'm assaulted to say is definitely guaranteed to become one of those family favorites. Mm. Clem, it's, it's not outstanding. Normal. It's no, not it's normal. not normal. All right, let's talk about it. So the good stuff is in there, some butter and some sugar. We've creamed that up already. Yeah. We're going in with one free range egg. Yes. It's all looking quite normal, yeah. right? That's now looking it's looking like, baking. Yeah, we're baking. Okay. In with the flour. Okay. And, and of course, you, want to, you want to bring together like a nice rough cookie dough. Yeah. So essentially, let me break it down what this is. It's cookie dough, salted caramel, cookie dough. All right? Yeah. And you've That's got all of the rest of the year and next year to go to gym and make up for this. I apologize. No, no I'm doing Pilates in my head right now because all I want to do is eat this cookie dough. And if you, it's all about the mind, right? And how you think it's going <laughs> to. And guys, you don't actually understand how crazy this is. This That's is one insane. seriously mad dish. Okay, I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna get my hands involved right now because yeah, they're making yeah, yeah. crazy. So the idea You've is... You've already washed them 4,000 times. Yes. Between you and Tema, you've been at that tap <laughs> literally all day. Okay, cool. But it is good to keep your hands clean, by the I way. I agree. We're not, we're not dissing. Okay, so that cookie dough is getting chunky. Look at that, it's coming together. You don't want to make it to get it too processed. You okay. want it to stay short, which kind of crumbs and snaps in your mouth. Okay, so like gonna, a shortbread. Like a shortbread. Yeah. That's exactly where the name comes from. Okay. So pack it in there. Um, how's your hands? Let me see. Okay, no, My no, hands I, are clean. I got this. Tell you what, yeah, you do the first packing. Yeah, I don't mind doing it. And then let's I even size. took my jewellery off for this. So oh, that yeah. We can... but it was, all those rings were weighing you down, though, so I mean... I mean, <laughs> I'm hoping that green fur won't get involved. Faux fur won't get involved. Yeah. <laughs> but we're good. Okay, right. so now I'm packing so the cookie now, dough. If you can see on, on our display over there, we've got those little caramel candies. Yes. You see them? Literally, what we've done is put them in a pot with some salt. Some okay. condensed milk, and we melted it down. Okay, that's right. an easy way to make caramel. And we got this amazing, it turns into this. I mean, the magic mm. of science, okay? Yeah. That's crazy. I'm thinking, yeah. you know what? If I had some peanut butter right now, I'd be going in there. The only worry about this <laughs> recipe is that you've actually got to wait for everything to be done and finished and cooked before, you know, you can start I eating it. I don't think it. so. However, everything here is so delicious that I don't know if we're going to wait for anything yeah. to be you cooked You can eat the cookie dough, it. eat the cookie dough, yeah. eat the raw toffee. Yeah. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but I mean, if you can eat raw vegan, this, like, this I think, would be <laughs> the equivalent in sugar world. <laughs> I agree. Go for it. Okay, cool. Okay, so now I've packed Put your that dish. Off. Now, yeah, I'm going to go with a layer of toffee. Did you yeah. use all of it? Let me see. What, how much do you have left there? Oh, do you want all of it? Oh, you know what? Just take some out. Don't worry about it. So the idea is that I want some cookie crumble on top. Oh. No, no, no. All good. And you know what? Actually, this is a good idea, like breaking it up like this. The two of us <laughs> in the kitchen together. It's amazing. <laughs> Clem, you know that whenever you're in the kitchen with me, I make something go wrong. There we go. But Not I like it. I like it. There we go. Perfect. I like the little edges in there because it holds on to our toffee sauce. So okay. Are you ready? This is dangerous. I'm going to okay. ask you I to just step I was back real such quick. A fab job. Okay. Okay, and it goes. Oh, that's so <laughs> delicious. And then we're just going to spread it all over. And of course, you do know that the pot will be licked by me during the commercial <laughs> break. <laughs> all right. There we go. All in. Now, the leftover cookie, you don't want to like pack it in there, just crumble. Okay. All right. All and right. then what happens is it goes into the oven, and then the ma magic baking fairies come, and they make everything just kind of come together. All right. Okay. This isn't baked in a normal way. Fairies come and do it for you. And yeah. then it comes out like that. You sprinkle some sea salt on top. And it's crazy, okay? You know this, all right? Uh, let me show you the, the, the ooey gooey, like, the way that it no, just... No, but then where's all the chocolate in there? Because there's oh, a lot goodness, of chocolate. Oh, my goodness, yes! Jeannie, yeah, what have you we, done? we have to get in the kitchen, that's I'm so crazy. You like, okay. that's, that's, you're disappointing <laughs> me here, Claire. All right, white chocolate chips. Okay. White chocolate, Jeannie, No, because you. there was a lot of chocolate in the one that I yes, ate. Yes, okay, white Sheesh. chocolate <laughs> Clem, are you okay? You've had a lot of sugar today. Too much, actually. Oh, white how chocolate, good is this? milk chocolate, and then it goes into the oven. Wait. Yeah, that's more like okay. the one that I now had. Now, will you please show our viewers the ooey gooey like Santa in this guy? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, please follow me. I mean, look at that. Literally, it's just butter and chocolate and just so much decadence. <laughs> it is. Mm, yeah, I'm in love. No, I'm in love. <laughs> if this was ready to propose to me, I'd get me getting married soon. So these decadent caramel cookie bars are really the perfect combination of 
sweet and of course the saltiness that you throw in at the end if you would like to make this at home all you need to do is simply sms the keyword treat to double three six five zero to get the recipe and link sent directly to your phone now if you don't mind i'd like to be left alone with this <laughs> This week, presenter Search on 3 heads up country for part 2 of the Mentor Masterclasses. Nerves kick in as Durban contestants interview the cast of SABC 1's hit drama series Uzalo. And the Joburg hopefuls have their wits put to the test. You can stop this wheel wherever I want. On the set of WTF Doomy and Trending SA. <laughs> Catch all the drama on presenter Search on 3. Thursdays at 8.30pm on SABC 3. The stage is yours.